Hello YouTube, today I'm sharing a dish powder for your dishwasher with you. Uh, ingredients you're going to need are baking soda, a box of borax mule team, a box of Arm & Hammer washing soda, uh, just regular salt, whatever you have. This is some salt I had left over from something, so we don't usually use iodized, we use sea salt. And you can use that in here if you want to, but the iodized is cheaper. And we're going to also use some citric acid powder or granules, whatever you have. So for the recipe, you're going to need two cups of borax, two cups of Arm & Hammer washing soda, one cup of baking soda, one cup of salt, and one half cup of citric acid powder or the granules. After we get this all mixed together, we're going to add two tablespoons of borax, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of Dawn, and we're going to add some essential oils to it just to make it smell good. Today I'm going to use lemon because I like the smell of lemon in the kitchen. And we're going to also give you a recipe on um, making your own powder to wash your clothes. We'll actually use the remainder of what's left of your Arm & Hammer washing soda and your borax and add a little bit of soak, soak to it. I'll give you that recipe a little bit later. Uh, incorporate all the powders together uh, to the, the best you can. When you add the Dawn, you're going to be mixing it so much you're going to get it all mixed up together. We're going to use two tablespoons of Dawn. I usually use an all-natural soap that I make up, but today I'm using Dawn because I'm out of the other. Uh, maybe I'll post that video too on how I make my own all natural liquid soap that you can use bathing, washing hands, uh, cleaning the house, whatever. Using a slotted spoon that way it'll help me break up all the uh, Dawn liquid soap into the powder. Uh, we are also going to run it through a, a sifter just to make sure it don't have any big clumps. When you get through putting all this together, uh, this recipe for the dishwasher makes a full quart jar and a pint jar full. Uh, today what I used to store it in was a plastic box that actually had wild rice in it. And I just put the remainder in a Ziploc bag. You do want to make sure it's airtight. Um, just like salt will clump up for moisture, so will this powder. So you want to make sure it is airtight at all times so it doesn't get... Uh, clumpy or big, you know, chunks in it. I've never really had that problem, but I always keep it uh, in an airtight container. After you get all the pieces broke up, if you got anything left in the bottom of the sifter, just take your spoon and uh, press them on through. And once we get all this sifted through, our next and last thing is going to be adding the essential oils. And like I said, I use lemon. And I added 45 to 60 drops uh, to this recipe. Lemon's a good deodorizer and cleaner also. So while your dishes are being washed, it's going to help remove odors and uh, make the kitchen smell good while it's washing your dishes. I also use this as a deodorizer and cleaner uh, for my pressure cookers, electric pressure cookers. I have a six quart, eight quart, and ten quart instant pot and I've never had any odor issues uh, in them because I do a cleaning cycle is what I call it where I add a heaping tablespoon to the bottom of the pot add two cups of water put it on high pressure for 35 minutes and just let it naturally release and when it naturally releases and cools off a little bit I just rinse out the inside of the pot and it's sparkling clean there's no uh, water buildup, mineral spots, uh, you cook rice in it, you know how to have that little white looking junk on the bottom of the pot, all that will be gone. It's the best thing I've ever used. I've been using this uh, since I've had my instant pots, which has probably been a good five, six, seven years now. Okay, we've got it all incorporated through and we've added our essential oils and getting those all mixed in. And the next thing we're going to do is put it in our container so we know that it's going to stay good and dry. 
that you get it sealed up in those containers, uh, it's it's not going to have any issues with pulling moisture or anything like that. Okay, here what it is, I add about a tablespoon to the sink with a couple quarts of hot water using the sprayer just to show you that it's not going to really soak up a whole lot. Okay, all you're going to need to wash a load of dishes is about a heaping tablespoon. That's all it takes. Wash a load of dishes. So this is probably, if you wash three or four loads a week, this will last you probably three or four months. Okay, let me quickly give you the recipe for the for washing your clothes. It's really super easy. You're going to use what's left in the borax box, what's left in the Arm & Hammer washing soda box, add two cups of baking powder, I'm sorry, baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda. Mix that up well, get you two bars of Zote soap. Uh, Zoat comes in, it's a pretty good sized bar, they weigh over a pound a piece and they're less than a dollar. Take your cheese grater, grate it up well, mix all that together. It only takes about a quarter of a cup per load. This is not a soap that you need a whole lot of soap in the machine to clean your clothes. So as long as you see a little bit of soap, that's enough soap. You don't want to see an inch layer of soap on top of your, your machinery in your water. The way you can tell that you have enough soap in the machine is look around the edge of the machine. If you see a little bit of suds, that's enough. If you've got a front load, just look on the door. If you see a little bit of soap coming across the door, then you know you've got enough. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking the button below. Click on the little bell so you get notifications of any new videos coming out. Uh, we do have a new recipe that's going to be coming out. It's a no-need refrigerator dough that you use anytime you want. So stay tuned, and you'll get that recipe next. Pressure Prepper, I'm out.